Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, Messiah of Israel, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And so the blessing of Abraham is the covenant, the contract. If you're not a part of this Abraham seed, Isaac seed, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, that's the covenant, that's the contract, that the blessings might come upon the Gentiles. The Gentiles that they're talking about is the ten tribes of the northern kingdom. They're not talking about anybody and everybody else. But the Christianity, the religion, have lied to you thinking, oh, it's about everybody. The blessing of Abraham is coming on everybody. Now, no, it's not. It's only coming on the, ten the two kingdoms of Israel, the southern kingdom of Judah and the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that are scattered. That the blessings of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of Israel. And that's why you have to put Jesus Christ, the Messiah of Israel, in context because people don't want to call him the Messiah of Israel. <laughs> they want to just say, oh, he came to save everybody. No, he did not. The scripture says he came to save his people from their sin. Well, it said God so loved the world. Yeah, he's talking about his people. There's no contradiction, no conflict, no controversy in the scriptures, the scriptures are in agreement, 100%, one accord. They agree with each other. And so you have to reconcile John 3, 16 with uh, how was shy Jesus come to save his people from their sin. That, that, those scriptures are in agreement. There's no conflict. And so he's not talking about anybody and everybody else in the, in the, on the face of the earth. That we might receive... The promise. The promise is only to the two two kingdoms, the twelve tribes of Israel. It's not to everybody else. Yahweh promised the land. He promised the seed to the twelve tribes of Israel, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is Israel. That's who the promise is to and for and about. It's the covenant. It's the contract of the Spirit through faith. Now the promise. Is made, but we have to believe it and receive it by faith. Everything that we have of the scriptures is by faith. That's how we make it into the kingdom of heaven. By faith, by believing the gospel of the kingdom. Galatians 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of Israel. There is neither Jew nor Greek. And see, the, the, the 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system has lied to us, telling us, okay, this is about anybody and everybody. It's not. It's about the two kingdoms. Neither Jew nor Greek is about the two kingdoms of Israel. The Jews are the southern kingdom, Judah and Benjamin. Greek is referring to the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel. So that's why it says there is neither Jew nor Greek because they're all Israel. <laughs> there is neither bond nor free. They're all Israel. There is neither male nor female. They're all Israel. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. You are all Israel in Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of Israel. That's it. And that's why people are deceived because they think it's about anybody and everybody. If you're not of the 12 tribes of Israel, then it's not talking about you. Galatians 5 and 6. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith, faith worketh by love. And so the Apostle Paul is, is telling both the kingdoms. He said, in, in Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of Israel, neither circumcision availeth nor uncircumcision, 
He's talking about the two kingdoms of Israel. And so that's what you don't hear. The ten tri the, the the Antichrist church system, the 501c3 corporations, they don't tell you about the two kingdoms of Israel. They're deceived. And that's why you're deceived. Because they don't tell you who Israel is. And if you do not know who Israel is in the scriptures, then you're going to be deceived. And that's what has happened to Israel, us. We've been deceived because we don't know who we are. The scripture tells us exactly who we are and whose we are, but we've been deceived through these religions. That's why Yahweh is telling us to come out of her, my people, and don't partake of her, her plagues, her sins. Because all these religions are going to be destroyed. And if you're caught up in there, you're going to be destroyed with them. Hallelujah. And so we're all of the 12 tribes of Israel have to believe the gospel of the kingdom. He says, with faith which worketh by love. That's why we have to love one another. Talking about the two kingdoms of Israel. <laughs> Don't fight against one another. Love one another. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hand. And so, uh, the Apostle Paul is, is, is talking to the uh, ten tribes of the northern kingdom, addressing the ten tribes of the northern kingdom, telling them that, remember, ye being time past Gentiles in the flesh, because you didn't practice circumcision. <laughs> so you was called uncircumcision by that which was called circumcision. The, the southern kingdom of Judah referred to the ten tribes of the northern kingdom as the uncircumcision. That's what he's saying. Ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. Because they stopped circumcising. They stopped keeping the law. Hallelujah. They, they didn't believe either. And that's the main thing. Who are called uncircumcision. The ten tribes of the northern kingdom was called uncircumcision. By that which is called circumcision. The, the southern kingdom of Judah. It's called circumcision. And they was calling the, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom uncircumcision. And so the circumcision in the flesh made by hand. The, the, the southern kingdom, they were circumcised by the flesh made by hand. So flesh calling flesh circumcision and uncircumcision. And Paul like, it's not about that. Yeah, we're supposed to obey the, the scriptures and keep the laws and the commandments. But if you don't do it in faith, then you don't make it into the kingdom of heaven. The, it, he's saving us, our souls. The flesh is, is going to be destroyed. That's why we're going to have a new body. <laughs> and so to argue about circumcision and uncircumcision is nothing. Because it, circumcision is not going to save you of, it, of itself. Neither uncircumcision of itself is not going to save you if you don't have faith and believe. Ephesians 2 and 12. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without Yahweh in the world. And so again, he's dress, addressing the ten tribes of the northern kingdom said, look, at that time, before y'all believed that Yahweh was the Messiah of Israel, you were aliens from the commonwealth. Y'all had been cut off because you disobeyed. <laughs> you were serving devils. And Yahweh divorced you. So you were divorced from Yahweh. You were no longer a part of the commonwealth of Israel. So we didn't refer to y'all as Israel anymore. And so now you're being, you're strangers. And strangers 